What's up guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be discussing the different flight modes DJI's drones have to offer. First, we will discuss the differences between them, and then from there we will take a look at the uses of each of them. For the sake of time, I won't be going over the intelligent flight modes, but you can click the link in the top right corner to be taken to a video that I made where I fully explained all 12 of them. Now that all that's out of the way, let's jump into the video. The first thing that we need to do is enable multiple flight modes. We can do this by clicking on the three dots in the top right corner, then select main controller settings, and then finally tap the bubble next to multiple flight modes. As a safety feature, these come turned off so that inexperienced pilots don't accidentally fly in sport or ATTI mode. Now let me introduce you to the flight modes offered. First we have P mode, which stands for positioning mode. Next we have S mode, which is short for sport mode. And finally we have A mode, which means ATTI or attitude mode. The differences between these flight modes are quite simple but can drastically affect how your drone flies. For example, in positioning mode, the GPS and GLONASS sensors are enabled to hold the aircraft's position, ensuring that it won't drift away. Even with some of the strongest wind gusts, the drone will do its best to stay still. It also uses obstacle avoidance sensors when flying in this mode to ensure that it won't run into anything. Depending on which drone you own, the top speed in P mode will vary. With the Phantom 3 series, the Phantom 4, and the Mavic Pro, you will get a maximum speed of 22 miles per hour. With the new Phantom 4 Pro, you'll be able to fly at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour with the upgraded obstacle avoidance sensors. In sport mode, the GPS and GLONASS sensors are also enabled to hold its position. Because the drone is flying faster with more of a tilt angle, the obstacle avoidance sensors will be turned off. Depending on which drone you own, the top speed in sport mode will vary. With the Phantom 3 series, sport mode is not offered, but the newest DJI drones do come equipped with this mode allowing us to reach high speeds. With the Mavic Pro, we can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, while the Phantom 4 series, that includes the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 4 Pro, we will be able to reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour due to its more powerful motors. Next up we have ATTI mode. The GPS and GLONASS sensors are turned off in this mode, which will cause it to fly with the wind. To ensure that altitude does not change, the aircraft uses an onboard barometer to keep it level. With ATTI mode, obstacle avoidance is also disabled, which makes this a flight mode that should only be used if you are an experienced pilot. Because the obstacle avoidance sensors are turned off, the drone will be able to fly faster. Across the board, you will be able to reach a maximum speed of 36 miles per hour with the three series of DJI drones that I have listed. This is a great way to get more speed out of your Phantom 3 drone, which does not offer sport mode. Now the way that we can actually switch flight modes is by a physical switch located on the controllers. With the Phantom series of drones, it will be located on the back left side, while on the Mavic Pro it is located on the right side. Remember, we must enable multiple flight modes in the settings to make the switch useful to us. Now to wrap this video up, let's discuss some of the reasons we may want to use each of these flight modes. First, let's start things off with positioning mode. This is seen as the standard mode of flight used for everyday filming, photography, and overall flying around and having fun. With all the sensors enabled, it will ensure that your flight goes as smoothly as possible. Next we have sport mode. I primarily use this when I'm getting from point A to point B. For example, if I'm quickly taking pictures in the air, or just simply need to change angles for a video, I can do this quickly using the fast speeds available with sport mode. A lot of people complain about the props and LEDs showing up in their shots when flying in sport mode, but that is why I primarily use it only to get from place to place. Sport mode can be used for fun as well. People love getting the rush of flying fast, but when doing this just make sure you have some nice open space to work with. Finally we have ATTI mode, and after my description of it, where I stated all of the sensors are turned off, you may be wondering why anyone would ever want to use it. First of all, you are able to achieve faster flight. This is especially true with the Phantom 3 series as you can get an extra 14 miles per hour. Next, ATTI mode is often used when flying indoors or in tight spaces. The drone can easily make small adjustments by itself due to the GPS, but these changes could result in a crash when you're in a cramped space. The final reason that I have for flying in ATTI mode is overall safety. Sometimes drones will fly away due to an incorrect GPS signal. In fact, I've seen people on forums state that their home point changes mid-flight, which is really scary. In any event that this relates to you, you can switch over to ATTI mode, allowing for full manual control. So guys, that about wraps this video up. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. 
Also leave a comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever about these flight modes. Again, we have our P mode, our S mode, and our A mode. I know that it is a little bit confusing, but again, if you have any questions, make sure to leave it down in the comments. So guys, as I said, this video is coming to an end, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.